I'm Faith DeMarco, and this is Seriously Soda, the show where we review carbonated beverages and explore their seriously interesting history. In a previous episode, we mentioned a soda with two variations, one sweetened with high fructose corn syrup and the other one sweetened with real sugar. Today, we'll taste test those variations. Join us and find out which tastes better. This is episode six of Seriously Soda, and today I'm joined by soda lover and film effects editor, Max Odermarco. What do you have in store for me today, Faith? In a past episode, we had Max taste test a soda he had had before and hate it. Yeah, well, I always give second chances, and Mountain Dew Spark is certainly complex. We'll be revisiting Mountain Dew again today. Ooh, what variation? That's a surprise. Mm. Well, I've seen Apple Mountain Dew, Watermelon Mountain Dew, Blue Mountain Dew. <laughs> Blue, the flavor of champions. <laughs> <laughs> Too true. We'll be comparing two different variations of Mountain Dew that are very similar. If you keep booking me like this, I'll have to add Mountain Dew Expert to my resume. If you're going to be a Mountain Dew Expert, you need to know what flavor blue is. Mm, um, uh, raspberry. Blue raspberry is like a soda thing, right? <laughs> Mountain Dew has at least five different variations of blue flavors. Okay, Mountain Dew, that's a little excessive. Yeah. Baja Blast, Frostbite, Berry Monsoon, Voltage, and Atomic. They're all different flavors. Well, color me blue. <laughs> You'll often hear that Mountain Dew has more than 50 flavors, but this includes the flavors on the shelves, discontinued flavors, energy drink variations, slushy flavors, and flavors not available in the United States. It would be more accurate to say that Mountain Dew has about a dozen flavors of actual Mountain Dew soda available at any time. What is it that gives classic Mountain Dew its otherworldly color? Mm, the electric green? Yeah, there's definitely no other soda that's that vibrant. That vibrancy comes from the synthetic food dye tart resine. Hmm better known as yellow number five. Uh. Classic Mountain Dew and Mountain Dew Throwback. They look the same. Classic Mountain Dew is sweetened with corn syrup, but Mountain Dew Throwback is based on the earlier recipe, which uses real sugar. Ah, but they both have yellow number five. True. We'll taste each Mountain Dew and score them on a scale of one to five bottle caps. All right, let's get this open. Yeah. There we are. And this is full sugared Mountain Dew with the high fructose corn syrup. Yeah, it's not like diet or whatever. Yes, yeah. which will be interesting for me because I, I cannot remember the last time I had a Mountain Dew that wasn't diet. Um, so I think even just this is gonna taste different to me. It's that classic color. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like green, yellow. It's, 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 so, it's, so, it's so interesting. But yeah, it tastes about the same as I remember it. That is so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so there's a big difference between diet Mountain Dew. Oh, yeah, and absolutely. Their sugared, whether with mm. corn syrup or cane sugar drink. Yeah. That is very sweet. Mm -hmm. I can definitely say I can taste high fructose corn syrup in yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, very, very sweet. It's so sweet, I feel like I almost can't taste as much Mountain Dew flavor. Mm. Because I feel like Mountain Dew has like such like that like lemony lime kind of flavor. Yeah. And it's like very, in my opinion, a very specific flavor. Like even oh, like, yeah, yeah. like comparing it against other lemon lime drinks. Yeah, like spread I think, and, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like it's very different. But I feel like this, I just can't like taste as much of that Mountain Dew flavor as I can with the diet yeah. one. 
It definitely doesn't have as much like lemon lime like prevalence as like a Sprite or Seven Up. I'll say yes, that. I agree with that. I for the longest time I didn't even actually know it was really lemon lime. Which yeah, is interesting. I mean, it, I mean, that's honestly fair. Mm -hmm. But uh, I mean, it's not bad though. I, I when I when I think about like sugared sodas, this is usually what I like go to if I mm -hmm. just like want something like sweet to drink. You know? Yeah. I just can't get past that. Oh, that, no, that's that, fair. Yeah. yeah. I think I might have to give this two bottle caps. Mm. It's not like horrible, but it just tastes really, really sweet Yeah, to that's me. fair. I'd probably give it a, like an even three. Okay. I think if you like want like a sweet soda, just like something to like rot your teeth with, I think this is a- Oh goodness, uh, that should not, not be something that anybody yeah, wants. No, but if by chance you do, then this is probably a good, good thing. Maybe don't actually do that, no, you know. <laughs> but yeah, it's a three. It's a three. <laughs> All right, so yeah. this is the throwback. The yeah. only difference is the sweetener they use. They use cane sugar. Yeah, and it's right here, real sugar. Mm -hmm. As opposed to the high fructose corn syrup. Yeah. So already, I mean, they look identical other than the slight difference in the marketing. Um, let's see. Yeah. I would say the color is the same too. Maybe a little, no, no, it's not brighter. Yeah, it's about the same. Well, actually, I mean, my first instinct is maybe it's a little bit more yellow. So yeah. if anything, but I would probably say it's the same color. Yeah, yeah, more or less. It's not like a noticeable difference. Does that smell different? Oh, yes it does. It smells different. Yeah, it actually like has a scent. Hmm. I wish I knew how to describe that. Yeah, it's not like a lemon lime thing. No. You know, it's like, it, you know, it's ironic. It almost smells like artificial sweetener to me. Really? Or like, a, or like an artificial flavoring of something. I was gonna say, maybe like, almost more like molasses? Yeah, Maybe? yeah, a little which is a word, but no, I get what you mean, bro. Like, but yeah, kind of which I suppose yeah. would make sense if it's real sugar as mm. opposed to high fructose corn syrup, but definitely have to taste it. Okay, it's a, a little. I think it's a little less sweet. It is definitely less sweet. Yeah. If I were to drink a sugared soda, I would drink this. Mm. I don't think I would drink the high fructose corn syrup Mountain Dew. I don't think I would, but this I would, because I can still, in my opinion, taste more of that classic Mountain Dew flavor mm -hmm. while it's still being no sugar. You know what I think it is? I think the coin syrup, the high fructose coin syrup, I kind of associate that as part of like the Mountain Dew taste, because that's what I always oh. had. So like having this, it's... It does, in my it opinion, taste like, less artificial. Yeah, it almost feels like something's missing, though. It's like, mm. it's like Seven Up or Sprite. Like when you get like, uh, I guess like a good example, like the diet as opposed to a sugared one. It's I still feel like okay, this is Sprite, this is Seven Up. This it, it seems like something else. It feels very subdued, a very subdued lemon lime flavor as opposed to like those. And it's like not quite as much uh, acidity. Acidity? Yeah. Yeah, could be. I yeah. mean, I. I think that's very interesting. I can't personally like um, compare that too much because I very, I, again, I can't remember the last time I had the high fructose yeah. corn syrup Mountain Dew, um, but I can definitely taste the difference between these two different yeah. ones. And clearly, the sweetener really affects the taste yeah. of Mountain Dew. Oh, and I will say that it does, that though it smell, it smells that way to me, it doesn't taste like a diet, like artificial sweetener. It is, you can definitely tell it's real sugar, it's just a little subtler. Yeah. I, I think the only issue is that in, uh, to me, without the sweetener, Mountain Dew doesn't have much of a distinct flavor, I guess. Mm -hmm. I think that is an interesting point because like, to you, Mountain Dew tastes like the high fructose yes. corn syrup Mountain Dew. Mm -hmm. To me, Mountain Dew tastes like the diet variation with artificial mm, yeah. sweetener. And then there's also this one, which tastes completely different from those two. Yeah. And in my opinion, it tastes more natural, which <laughs> might just be in my head because I know it is more natural, but I do think you can tell a difference. Yeah, I, I would are, say so too. Yeah, they are certainly different sodas. Uh, I would just personally probably say a two, 
But I, I think this is interesting. I think if you don't care for modern Mountain Dew, I'd actually maybe give this a try. You might actually find something you like. I 100% agree with that. I think I would give this three bottle caps because I am definitely more likely to drink this mm -hmm. than the high fructose corn syrup version of it. Maybe I'll have to like get this another time, like try it a few more times, like see yeah. if, like, I, if I grow, like adjust to it. This, this is really neat. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining me today, Maxwell. No problem. Please call me anytime you're reviewing the new. <laughs> We officially offer you the title of Mountain Dew Expert here on Seriously Soda. I'm honored. I accept. <laughs> Maxwell is known for taking very rough, no budget, and low budget film footage and creating amazing effects. Check out his work in Book and Key here and in Space Marines. You can enjoy Faith's adorable illustrations of fruit bats in the children's book Take Flight, available wherever books are sold. And if you find a copy with cream-colored pages, you found a first edition. A bottle of Mountain Dew contains 55 milligrams of caffeine. That's 50% more than Coke or Pepsi. In 1958, when Bill Bridgeforth revised the core formula designed by Barney and Allie Hartman, he actually wanted to add more caffeine. A prototype was made and there was so much caffeine in the bottle that it crystallized on the sides like spires of ice. Even though high fructose corn syrup is absorbed by the body faster than cane sugar, both are empty calories that we probably don't need. Be aware of the calories you're taking in from sugared sodas no matter how they're sweetened. Thanks for watching episode six of Seriously Soda. What sodas should we research and review next?